In this configuration example, we will configure flooding routes and default routes on Huawei routers. As you can see, flooding routes are backup routes for static routing. If a static route array fails, then this uh, floating route array is zero. Here, firstly, we will configure a static route from router 1 uh, to the network that PC2 resides and then we will uh, configure a floating route as a backup uh, static route and then we will do the same configuration on router 2 uh, after that uh, we will use ping and tracer commands uh, to test our configuration uh, firstly our uh, way will be uh, through gigabit ethernet 000 interfaces uh, but after that, after we will delete this link, uh, link then uh, our uh, traffic will go through the floating road way through Gigabit Ethernet 001 uh, interfaces. Let's start. We will use IP route static command and uh, our destination network is this one and subnet mask and uh, here we will use uh, this interface 10.0.0.2 as the static route and uh, for flooding route uh, we will use the other way 20.0.0.2 and we will add a preference value as, for example, 75. Uh, the default uh, preference value of a static route is uh, 60. Uh, it is a little different from Cisco. Uh, it was five uh, in Cisco routers. Now, uh, let's save our configuration. And uh, then check our static routes as you can see here our static routes are here and I will also check uh, the static routes here the first one is uh, the normal static route and uh, the second one is the floating the backup one now let's uh, do the similar uh, configuration on router 2 This time we will write a static route to this network from uh, router 2. And our next hop will be 10.0.0.1 here. And for uh, floating route we will use this ne uh, next hop this time. And we will use the same preference value. We can write different here. Uh, let's check our configuration. This is our static route and floating route configuration. We can also check this with uh, display IP routing table protocol static. Yes, our static route is here and the floating route is here. Now let's uh, Test our configuration uh, by pinging P from PC1 to PC2, and we will also use straight search command. And our IP configuration is uh, like this: and IP address, subnet mask, and gateway, as you can see. Here we'll use ping command. As you can see, it is successful, and we will also use stress art command here this is important yes uh, our packets are going through the gigabit ethernet 000 uh, as you can see here from pc the first hop is here and the second hop is here and the third hop the destination is here uh, now let's uh, delete uh, this 
static uh, rod uh, pad. Yes. And now uh, let's think again. Yes, it is successful. And let's check the way with tracer command. And yes, as you can see, packets are using the second uh, backup uh, way here. And uh, it's okay. Now uh, let's configure uh, default route on router one. Uh, the, the default route is uh, a route uh, that's the default uh, destination for a, for any route. For example, if uh, there is no uh, way, there is no route uh, on the routing table for a route uh, for a destination. Then uh, after this configuration, uh, the packets are sent to this uh, default uh, destination. Let's write. This is similar to static routing, but the destination is destination network is zero 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 and zero zero zero. And our uh, next hop will be the uh, destination of our uh, packets that have no routes to the, any destination. For example, we can use this one here. Yes. And we can check with this configuration command. And yes, our default route is here. In this configuration example, we have seen how to configure floating routes and default routes on Huawei routers.